Hi, sweet kiddos. It's Mrs. Harbert, also known as Old Mother Harbert. I hope everyone's doing good. Um, I know Easter celebrations are underway. Probably by the time we get this video posted, it might be a few days after Easter, but that's okay. Uh, we have a fun little bunny that we're going to make. It doesn't even have to be an Easter bunny. There's lots of rabbits still around. Well past Easter, right? We look out at our lawn and there are just rabbits constantly eating. So we're going to make a little bunny project today. Let me tell you what all you guys are going to need for your project. Just a piece of paper, any color that you want. I happen to pick yellow. You need yourself some scissors, a pencil, any color marker that what you want to use for the inside of your bunny's ears and his nose, and then a black marker too. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to be using these real fast, some googly eyes. Now, my googly eyes are not are not meant for this. No, no, that's not what they're meant for. <laughs> My googly eyes are to kind of help you guys as we're working on our cutting skills. And they're just a way that we're gonna talk about for you to make sure that your eyes are always looking up at the ceiling. That's how we want our scissor to move. So that's why we have our little eyes right here. And we'll work on those in just a second. So what you're gonna do is just use your hand and maybe you need mom and dad to help you. Sometimes tracing your hand's always a little hard. But you're just gonna take your pencil and you have your hand down flat and make sure your fingers are spread out and you're gonna trace around your hand like this. Keep going, get all those fingers. Don't forget the thumb there. All right, and then we're gonna kinda come down and we're gonna connect it just like so. Okay, so then you have your little pair of scissors I got mine, so remember my eyes are looking up at the ceiling, and when we cut, we have our thumb, whoops, my eye fell off, <laughs> stick them back on right there. All right, we got our thumb in the top hole and our other fingers in the bottom, and we want to chomp like an alligator. Okay, so here we go. My eyes are looking up at the ceiling, and we are chomping and staying on that line. Use your helper hand, and we like to turn our paper with our helper hand. And get it going like that. There we go. All right. Now through the magic of television, we have cut and cut and cut. And here's my hand all ready to go. <laughs> so we need our scissors. And what we're going to be doing when we have our hand right here, we got our five fingers. We got to get rid of one of our fingers. I hate to say it. We're going to take this middle tall one and we're just going to kind of cut right here make it even like this. This is what it's gonna look like right now. And then we kind of have to cut a little bit down in between our pinky and our ring finger, just a little bit to make it more even with our thumb. So ooh, about right there, whoop, to put it even with the thumb. And I'm gonna kind of come and just cut a tiny bit right now. You guys have much smaller, cuter hands than Mrs. Harvard. mine's kind of big here. So let's see what we're gonna do, and I'll put it up here so maybe you guys can see a little bit better. There we go. Hmm. Now I don't think that's gonna work because I need to color my ears and that's too high. So we're just gonna kind of go like this and hopefully everyone can see. <clears throat> we're gonna take, I'm gonna use pink for the inside of my ears, on my bunny ears. So I'm just gonna kind of come right here and draw oh, the inside of ears, kind of like a really long oval. Color it in like so. We're gonna come to this side, do the same thing for my little bunny ears. There we go. And I'm gonna guess kind of the middle right here and I'm gonna draw an oval this way and do his little nose like this. There we go. Okay, now we gotta add some little eyes for our bunny rabbit. I don't know, my eyes today are just gonna be kind of closed eyes. You can make eyes however you want them to look. And then starting at his little nose, we're gonna come down, give him a little smile, almost like the letter J that hooks. And then we're gonna come and do another hook this way. And we'll do three little whiskers on this side and three on this side. Oh, it's looking good. Okay, and then we're gonna add some little bunny feet down here. So you kind of come to the bottom and do almost just like half a circle. And we'll add some little toes in there. We'll 
come to this side, another half a circle, add some little toes like this. Now let me show you, I, left, I thought this was kind of cute. Hopefully it'll work out here. I cut mine good enough. It's like our bunny's kind of giving himself a hug. So we take this and we take this and we got our bunny giving a little hug here. All right, so that was just a quick little bunny project for us to do. If it, I hope you guys have a happy Easter and I will see you soon. Stay safe, stay healthy. Don't forget to give mom and dad a hug. Love you guys.